What's going on, my peoples? Yo, this is Seagot. Today, we're gonna be doing part 4.5, because I don't know if y'all seen the last video, the front didn't lay out too well, all right? So this time, I'm pretty much gonna break it down for y'all. This is kinda like some type of a medium height. You know what it is. I'm gonna go ahead and lay it down for you. So there she is there. As you can see, she does not tug white wall. Coming on over to the rear, the rear gives it to her quite nicely. So that's an issue. You feel me? But there it is, she's fully laid out. So today what we're gonna be doing, uh, I'll go ahead and pick the front up for you. But I've been noticing that my frame is uh, in the way of the tie rods going up more. So it's rubbing. I'm gonna go ahead and lock it up for you. So there you have it locked up. Quite nice, quite nice. As you can see there, we got touching that's going on from here. So we do might need to notch that or something like that. And we'll see if we can get the front end lower. That's the goal. And uh, also while we got it up in the air we'll see if we got any other issues. Well yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and get the front of the car up in the air. I'll bring you guys back whenever we're cycling it down so we see where it's actually hitting at on the frame. See what we're going to do about it. Yo, what's up guys? So a little bit of an update. We got the car up in the air. It's on stands. And pretty much I ended up taking the bag out. As you can see there, we got the front bag out. We've got the wheels off. And here you have it. So inside here, see if she'll brighten up for you. As you can see there... We are hitting on the control arm there, and we are very close to hitting here. So, I'm gonna go ahead and notch that, as well as notch that. And over here as well, real hard to see once again, and I kinda just scraped it into the grime, but I'm gonna go ahead and notch that too for the tie rods. For the bag cup, I am gonna cut it down. I wanna cut it down at least to an inch, or I mean, at least half an inch. So, take half an inch out of this, probably add a couple extra washers up here, and then we're going to do the same on the other side, and then we should be laying for real. So, yeah, let me go ahead and show you guys. Now that we have it marked up. So, there you have that there. We're going to be notching that out. As well as notching this out. Beautiful, beautiful. And as well as notching out the frame over here. And then we should be laying quite nicely. Um, I may or may not have to cut more of this part of the frame out. Once I cut the bag cups. But I'm going to have to test fit that after I cut those and put them back in. So that will be last. <sighs> So I'm going to go ahead and get to cutting and trimming and stuff, and I'll bring you guys back. Alright guys, so we got this side fully done. As you can see there, it does look pretty damn low, and that's with the bag in place already. So coming down here, 
as you can see we got some real tight clearances right there it's actually not touching back there as well it's also not touching kind of hard to see and then I did have to shave more for the bag right there but as you can see we got bag clearance all the way around I did end up cutting the cups three-quarter inch and as you can see over here as well got real good tie rod clearance all right well either way we got good clearance everywhere that's with the bag in place as you can see there so that's real hard it's real hard this side is fully done I have the bag in place for the final time I am gonna drop it down and hit everything that I cut with paint so that'd be a little like finishing touch I guess hit everything with paint um, go back through and make sure everything's tight and this side will be done I just gotta hit the other side and we should be laying all the way down so I'm gonna go ahead and continue on as you can see it's already getting kind of dark today so I'm probably gonna finish up the other side tomorrow and then I'll be able to show you guys what it looks like on the floor at its new heights yeah yo so what's going on guys as you can see just a little bit ago well for me or for you guys anyways just a little bit ago we got everything finalized to get it sitting down low now so what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna show you what she sits like it has been a couple days actually maybe like a week or so I don't know but I have had some time to scrape down the frame a little bit more so she sits pretty low now so this is what she's sitting like laid out and that is fully touching her to the floor yeah so she sits pretty nice as you can see All right, so what I'm gonna do for y'all is I'm gonna demonstrate that she's really sitting on the floor. I'm gonna go ahead and go in there and I'm gonna try to do a little burnout for you guys, all right? So wish me luck. If you guys see any cops in the background while this is going on, you'll probably catch me in jail. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and set the camera up and we'll get to it. Alright guys, well there you have it. It's the old lowrider burnout at the end of the video. Uh, she did end up creeping forward because you know she got that little 504 power. Well shit guys. This is probably going to be the end of the video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. We got a whole smoke screen back here. Hopefully there ain't no cops nowhere. I'll catch y'all later. This is you got checking out. Check out this. Ooh. Damn, look at that. That's just some straight carnage, brother. Old girl was really letting her rip. <laughs> well, fuck. Hell yeah, guys. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, let everybody know we out here ripping shit. I'll catch y'all later. Deuces. I'm so fake.